Hi you guys, welcome back to Wallington Filming. Right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. Basically, what this is, is a water leak, right? Um, I had this guy on the roof. Fixing uh, a, a problem on the roof and uh, Unbeknown to me, it left two tiles pushed up. I don't know, started getting a leak, didn't I? Uh, I'm sure it was done deliberately, um, because literally, you know where the tiles overlap? Like that, they were pushed, two of them were pushed up, two concrete tiles, and you got a gap in between. Uh, so I started developing a problem, as you can see. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the procedure that I take to get this problem sorted out. Um, what's got to happen first is, I've got to let this fully dry out, and I'll probably just get a heater on there and get it, get it dried out a bit quicker. Um, wipe over the surrounding area with um, a rag with bleach and water to kill the mold. And then what we're gonna do is seal it up because what happens is when you've got a water stain on a white ceiling or even walls, you can't just emulsion over that because the stain will just come straight through the emulsion. So what you've got to do is seal that area up. Now, a lot of people use oil-based undercoat or gloss, denib it and then emulsion over the top, which I have done myself and it does work. Or you can get yourself like a Zinzar primer sealer, stain killer, such as this one. Um, this one dries in, in about 10-15 minutes and um, it's recoatable in about an hour so you can get a couple of coats on it if you want to. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to tell you how to go about stain blocking this, show you through the uh, procedure and uh, get it all re-emulsioned and get the cabinet. One thing I should point out is that in any bathroom, especially in the winter time, if you've just emulsioned these walls like I have, you will start to develop mold on the emulsion. Um, realistically, they do want doing in some form of bathroom paint <coughs> or um, a masonry paint, similar to what I used in the kitchen video, if you go a bit further down the list, uh, that will, uh, certainly near enough eliminate any mold growing on your wall because it just loves this porous emulsion doesn't it um, so what i'm going to do now is give you a bit bit of a close-up of this right and show you another bit of mold i've got coming in the corner it, it does tend to attack the um outside walls external walls which this is just basically because they, they do stay a lot colder and um, I've got the shower down here, so you do get a lot of uh, water uh, going on the walls through evaporation from the shower and everything. So let me give you a bit of a close-up of what's been going on here. Right, as you can see, this is where I've had the water leak coming in. And uh, I have wiped over it with bleach and it's still come back. Uh, a week later, but you see all that staining there and there. If I emulsion straight over that, that that stain would come straight back through the emulsion. So it's got to be sealed up with some form of sealer. There's one that's used quite regularly on the building site, right? Still into the bathroom, you see, and that's all been wiped down again previously look at it so i've got to repaint all this bathroom in a, a, a proper bathroom paint or a masonry or whatever you want there's quite a few things it's all got to be done look at it <laughs> you're fight up you're out of laughing you know? uh, another bloody job to do i've only just finished the damn bathroom as well but yeah there it is Bother, isn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna get this dried out because I fixed the problem with the leak 
Uh, so I shouldn't gain more, more headache from that. So it's just a case of drying that out, getting it sealed up and getting it re emulsioned. Right then, here's another example of something that needs stain blocking. Uh, this particular example is in a new build plot. Um, back in the day, this particular builder used to uh, paint all the walls and ceilings in arm and white, which is like a bit like magnolia really. Um, so with it being like a cream, it used to hide any, any um, water stain or, or damp stain coming through the wall. But nowadays, it, uh, they, they do all the walls and ceilings white. So needless to say, this example is gonna need stain block. Right, here's a standard wall, been base coated. And here's one that's gonna need the stain block on. That is actually the dot and dab, which is the plaster mix uh, on the block and then onto the plasterboard. And just due to the damp and cold weather, uh, it comes through. Uh, not that I can do about it, really, as far as I'm aware. But yeah, that will need stain blocking. As you can see, and then re emulsioning. I'm at the stage where I'm going to put the um, stain, stain block, stain killer, Zinza Prime, or whatever you want to call it, on. Um, one thing I am going to point out first is <clears throat> you must make sure that the leak has been cured. So if there's a problem on the roof and you've had a leak, make sure that's sorted out first. Second of all, make sure the infected area is fully dry. Now, I've just left that to dry naturally because the weather's getting a bit better. Um, I was just gonna get a pair of steps, put it here, and then put a blow eater on to speed the process up. But it's absolutely bone dry and now I'm left with uh, that stain. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get that coated up. I think I might need to get two coats to be fair, so we'll crack on with that. Right, so I've got the uh, yeah primer seal off, stain killer, etc. I've got a brush in this at the minute because I just need to get down them edges and I'm gonna roll it. One, another thing I'm going to point out, cleaning this stuff out, you have to use methylated spirits, not turps or, or white spirit, methylated spirits. Now, a lot of people are not going to have that at, at home when they go out and buy this stuff. Um, what a lot of people also tend to do is use a brush or a roller to apply this stuff to the infected area and then they normally just bin the roller sleeve and the brush because buying methylated spirits to try and clean a brush out um, it's just going to end up costing you more money in methylated spirits because it's not the cheapest thing to buy so make sure you sheet it up um, wherever you're going to do it in case of spillage yeah I'm just going to go This one is just quite thick because it's been it's been used quite a lot. So I'm just doing the the internal corners with a with a brush. I'm going to try and apply it on with a roller after. I mean, seeing how thick this stuff goes on. I might, might be alright, just getting it one coat, right, I'll see. It's like a trick with this stuff, the one I've got. I don't know what it's like when it's fresh out of the tin. A 
and this stain's actually been caused by me getting the roofing guy in to sort out some on the chimney pots on my roof. Then I developed the leak. Um, and then I went up and checked it and it looked like it pushed two tiles up, like I said earlier. Um, so you got you gotta wash these roofers, didn't you? Right, so now I've got just a B and Q um, roller tray and, and just, just a cheap sleeve. I'm just gonna try and put this on with a roller. Which seems to be working okay. And it does dry quite rapid this stuff. Yeah, it seems to be going on really nice. On this, this roller, the sleeve on the on the arm. This, this, I'll just dump this. For what these cost, it's cheaper to just bend them than it is try and clean them out with methylated spirits. Just need a bit more stuff. Just make sure you sheet up any of the surrounding area. Um, Because if you've not been out and bought any methylated spirits, uh, it's going to give you a problem if you get it on your floor and stuff. We have to do this quite a lot on building sites when the dot and dab comes through the plaster. Plasterboard. See what's, what's happened is it's because I didn't fix the leak straight away, it's just like started to soak all the plaster work. And spread across the wall. That's why I'm coming so far out. It will want to be just about there to be honest. Right, that's it, first coat. I'll probably get another coat in a minute. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. And uh, then I've got to really paint this section. Right, I gave that two coats in the end. And as you can see, the difference in color, um, that, that stain's been completely blocked now. So what I'm gonna do is just use a bit of um just got some Dulux P180 fine um sandpaper this has been used slightly but all I'm gonna do is just give it a slight D nib 
Um, don't really need to form a key, but uh, because that, that tinner um, stain block had been used, there is a couple of bits in it, so I just want to make sure I get rid of them. So just a very, very slight dinging. Bit of a lump there. Basically, it. that's all that's all I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do now is just get a bit of white motion out and just coat that section up there. Got my white emulsion, that's all been denibbed, just like denib. You don't have to denib, it's just because I've got the bits in obviously. So I'm just gonna coat that what that little section of ceiling up just there in white, get a couple of coats. Uh, just gonna do it by brush. And it's as simple as that. Needless to say, I'm hitting the wall as well because I'm going to have to recut it in. I'm only doing it with a brush because it's just not worth getting a roller out for what? A square foot or whatever it is. Right, so that's the ceiling done. Wait for that to dry. Get it another coat. Won't bother wasting uh, time showing you that. Now I'm just going to crack on with the walls. The ceiling's had two coats there. I've done a bit of cutting in. Um, I'm just going to roll this section here. Um, I am using the uh, masonry paint I used in the kitchen video. Um, so we should be all right. Just doing it slowly because I don't want it spitting all over everywhere in the bathroom, do you know what I mean? These rollers are quite good. Six and a half inch sleeve. So you do get a nice smooth finish and cover of what a wide area as well. Just saves so you getting your, um, your big rollers out for small areas. Well, that's it boys and girls. As you can see behind me, um, it's all done. Um, relatively easy. Just like I say, make sure you uh, fix the leak problem first and uh, let it dry out fully seal it up with uh, that zinza primer uh, stain block as we call it even undercoat or gloss people have done it with that even myself and um, bob's your uncle right there it is all that wall's been repainted all that wall's been repainted Still a little bit wet on that ceiling. Um, that's not stain though, that's just the emulsion still wet. You know what we like, want to get it done and finished in one go, don't we? Um, still got the rest of it to paint all around there, all around there, etc. I'm going to redo all that in the masonry paint which is sitting up there. But yeah, finished. Stain, mould gone, everything. Jobs are good. Well, 
I hope you found that video informative if you've got a similar problem, whether it's in your lounge, kitchen or, or in your bathroom. That's how you go about fixing um, water damage in any, of the, any part of your house. So yeah, until next time from yours truly. Stay safe guys, stay safe. Thank you.